Yo SOS, which stands for Youth Organizing to Save Our Streets. It's Mediation Center's anti-violence leadership program for high school students. And this Wednesday, April 20th, the group will launch a multimedia anti-violence campaign called Six Feet Above at St. Francis de Sales School in Crown Heights. The campaign uses arts and media to promote alternatives to violence while showcasing youth leaders in the movement who are passionate about building safer communities. Before we bring on our guests and learn more about the Six Feet Above campaign, let's take a look at this clip where one of our guests, Miguel Haynes, keeps it real about gun violence in his community. When the aggressor, I mean the oppressor, then becomes the one being oppressed. Frustration, bro. Yeah, I know. It's a personal to internalize, all leading back to the same lame oppression. I got the impression that she just wants me corrupt. Corrupt mind, corrupt soul, corrupt heart. That's a corrupt whole. All this truth, ironic, because over a game of truth for dead took all the truth out of a lot she didn't share. Honestly, with all this despondency, it's hard for me to describe what I'm dealing with. But before I cry my soul to sleep, I'm gonna move on to something sweet. Everybody moving funny. Ha, 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 comedian. I messed up once, you cut me off. That area, you speedy in. You hurt me once, you hurt me twice, but I still ask, how are you feeling? P.S., I call this the persona. My scent pervades the room, sniff the aroma. Everybody getting high, the low is in a coma. I came too sweet, you treat me all sour. It's been this way forever, every minute and every hour. It's not about police. Zimmerman wasn't a cop. It's about a white killing a black just for walking the block. And all those that's allegedly superior that's breathing down on teachers' necks. Little do they know it carries a domino effect. A few flaws in our system stopping the flow of things. School to prison pipeline, blacks in the nighttime, got a buck that's 10 dimes. If darkness is the absence of light, I'm gonna be the poetic culprit in the nighttime. Friendships sink like real ships do. I'm in a shipwreck, I guess that's what trauma do. The ladies go, I love you, amigos. Guess what, my mama does too. The violence is old to me, but the experience is new to you. P.S., I call this the persona. <laughs> All right, here to tell us about the upcoming event and the ongoing work they've been doing in their own backyards to help end gun violence are Heather Day. She's the Associate Director of Youth and Community Programs at YoSOS and a lead organizer behind the Six Feet Above campaign effort. Welcome to BK Live, Heather. Thanks for having me. We're also happy to have with us two youth organizers who never really get a spring break from their work. Carl <laughs> Lacoste, nice to have you Hi. here. And Miguel Haynes. Migos, welcome. <laughs> They're both using their talents in music and media arts with the organization to help spread the word about why safer neighborhoods really do matter. Welcome, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for so joining nice. us. Heather, can you tell us what's going to happen on 420 and where Six Feet Above came yeah. from and how it came about? Sure. So on April 20th, Yo! SOS is going to be debuting uh, our brand new multimedia campaign focused on anti-violence messaging um, through arts. So our young people have been working over the last few months to create their own hip-hop music video, their own spoken word poetry, their own short film. So all of that is going to air for the first time. And they're also going to be doing live performances and really talking about um, the message behind the campaign and what it means to them personally to be doing this work. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. It's going to be um, 5 p.m. at St. Francis School in Crown Heights. And the, the title, Six Feet Above, came from the youth. Um, we sat down and we said, we've created all these projects. What do we call it collectively to get our idea across? Um, and, and they said, we hear all the time this idea of being six feet under or six by nine jail cell, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to flip it and talk mm -hmm. about being six feet above, um, being leaders, celebrating life, um, looking at all of the amazing work that young people are doing to create something positive in their community and taking that approach. Yeah, and I think you guys really did that. I mean, it's a really visceral, powerful yeah. like reaction that I have to that name. Really, really well, well done. I believe of leadership and celebrating life and being innovative. We got an exclusive premiere that we're about to kick for you right now. I'm not even going to describe it. Just look at this. This is you. <laughs> Six 
So we're back in. Tell us what we're looking at. Okay, so this is the step that um, together, the four of us, we made um, for the SOS talent show. So we, we decided to, to bring some type of energy to the performance. So we all came with the idea like, hey, why not step? So we started to be together. We made up the steps that we did right there. And um, we included like messages in each solo performance. So like mine, I stepped out and I said, don't let a gun be your first option, take my advice. Like I was talking to like just talking to the audience, like trying to get them involved. That's what I did. So together we all came up, we all had our own messages we decided to deliver and it was pretty cool. Nice. Now you're not the only one who made a video. Carl, <laughs> I know we got a little preview of what you made happen happen. So let's take a look at that for a sec. Tell us about that, Carl. Cool. Well, we all came together, like, um, like the lyrics. We own, we each wrote our own part, and then we came up with the beats also. And then we were like, oh, oh yeah. And, like the director came, she was like, oh, all right, this is the idea for the video. We're like, yes, yeah, let's not, let's shoot it in the park. And we're like, all right. And then we all did that. <laughs> and then we came, we shot, like we shot the mediation center, and we're like, yeah. Right. Episode of Empire up there. <laughs> the boys are doing it. So how has it been like getting all these ideas and synthesizing everything down? You guys have a multimedia event happening. We do. It's very exciting. We're really fortunate to have done this whole project with um, arts and media partners. We've been working with Urban Word, um, that's Migos' group, Urban Art Beat for Carl, and the third group is Urban Arts Partnership. Um, so we're hoping to have a huge turnout. We've been reaching out to young people. They've been passing out um, palm cards and flyers, and we really want it to be youth-driven through and through. I love it. Migos, how did you get involved with Yo SOS? Yo SOS? Um, the thing that caught my attention with USOS was that when they said, they started describing the arts, like things that I'm interested in, interested in like photography and poetry. And like, I chose Urban Art Beat as my internship because I love poetry. Like that's me, that's my way of, I feel like that's a very strong, strong area for me, strong hobby I love. And um, so for Urban Word, our project was to come up with, come up with, talk about, our project was to explain in our poems how, like, the violence and stuff that we see in our communities. Um, I have a, uh, a statement. Is it okay if I read? Oh, yeah. Explains about it. Okay. Please. So, the name of the poem that I wrote is called Oppress, and what inspired the poem was the constant oppression that I face and witness in my community. I designed this poem to briefly touch on a few issues that I think are most hurtful to the community, mentally, verbally, and physically. I found topics that I think the youth can most likely relate to and still look back at the poem again later and try to decipher lines that they didn't understand the first time. So yeah, that was my overall message sure. in the poem. Thank you for that yeah. statement. Mm -hmm. So Carl, how has using the arts helped you to express yourself and really get the message out that you care about saving our streets? Oh, well, Urban Art Beats is like, um, we come, as I said, we come in mega raps and I feel like rap, rapping really catches the young, uh, the youth right. mind and we're trying to say, change everybody's mindset on things we're like oh why not let's write a rap and then for me i'll know that if i listen to a rap like i'll listen to words let's, i was like yeah let's try to change it everybody was like yeah let's do that so so it really gets in yeah. the rap is the means of spreading <laughs> the knowledge especially for the youth so yeah, yeah. Very cool. So what was it like to help make this happen? Like you guys came with each little part that everybody contributed and put it together and made something bigger than all of us. It was pretty dope to work together with your peers in a situation to come up with different ideas to reach out to our fellow youth and try to make the communities better. So together it was a very fun experience and we learned a lot from each other. Whose idea was it to do a talent show? Uh, <laughs> I think that was SOS idea. Yeah. yeah. We have yeah. a talent show every year, okay. but the OSOS performance is up to the youth. So, so the step was something you guys really came up with yeah, all on your own. Step. Yeah, you've, you've stepped before, so you had yeah. some experience to bring to it. So you guys have been passing out cards, telling everybody you know all over the blogs and the media, the gram. So I wonder what you're most excited about going down on the 20th. 
What are you really looking forward to? Well, me, I'm looking forward to the youth coming, like seeing us perform, and then us coming as a community to change, to change the community, like yeah. for, for the better. All right. Yeah. You are the change you want to see, somebody once said, right? So what are you most excited about, Migos? Um, I'm excited about a lot. Like, I feel like it's going to be a lot of people coming out to support us. I've been given, I gave out the palm cards in my school. <laughs> I, I ran out. Right. I had to get more. <laughs> so like, I'm really excited. I'm like so pumped about what's going to go down on Wednesday. Well, yeah. the best of luck to you guys. Thank I know you. you're going to have you. a phenomenal turnout. So if folks still want to sneak in on the 20th, mm -hmm. tell us how we can find ourselves in the building. Sure. Um, you could definitely follow us on social media, um, our Instagram and our Twitter, our Youth Organizing. And um, to RSVP, you can, you can email me at youthorganizing at crownheights.org. Um, it is open to everyone. The more, the merrier. There's going to be, I mean, our youth are really the stars of the night, yeah. but mm -hmm. there's also going to be some remarks from uh, the deputy uh, Brooklyn Borough President Diana Reno and um, a special video from a celebrity rapper who's uh, who has uh -oh. something to say for us as well. Uh, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. Up. Yeah, you have to show up to be there. Show. You get the pre-celebrity yeah. rapper and then there's one who's made it to the other side. But thank yeah. you both for being here. Yeah, we thanks appreciate, for it. We appreciate Good it. Good luck on the 20th. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you.